Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Maxeu and Salomon Floor. This amazing game was played in Amsterdam in 1939. Maxeu had white pieces and he started with d4. Salomon Floor played d5. c4, the queen's gambit c6. The slow defense, maybe. Knight to f3. Knight to f6, knight to c3, black to move, d takes on c4 and e6, the two most played moves, floor played g6. This is transposing to the Grunfeld defense. Bishop to f4, bishop to g7, e3, castling, queen to b3, d takes on c4, bishop takes on c4, knight from b to d7, Knight to e5, pressure is on the pawn on f7, defending the pawn. Bishop to e2, knight takes on e5, bishop takes on e5, queen to d8, castling. Queen to b6, offering to trade queens. Queen to a3, attacking the pawn on e7, defending, rook from a to c1, bishop to f8, intending e6 in some variations. Knight to a4, attacking the queen, queen to d8, rook from f to d1, knight to d5, the knight is now black's best placed piece, e4, attacking the knight, e6, discovered attack on the queen, queen to f3, knight to b6, white stands better. Knight to c5, daring black to capture the knight, knight to d7, Knight takes on d7, bishop takes knight, bishop to f6 attacking the queen, black to move. Floor didn't like to play bishop to e7, he wanted his bishop to guard g7 square. So he played queen to a5, threatening to capture the pawn on a2. How to defend the pawn? What would you do? We have reached the most interesting part of the game. White move. Are you ready to see the move? Ewe played rook to c5. This is an amazing move. Daring black to take the rook. Queen takes pawn on a2. Let's take it back. If bishop takes rook, then d takes on c5, attacking the bishop. If bishop moves to a safe spot, then queen to e3. And white wins. One line goes like this. Rook to d8. Queen to h6. Rook takes rook check. Bishop to f1. And after rook takes bishop, king takes rook. And white wins. Back to our game. Queen takes pawn. Threatening to take the pawn on b2. How to defend the pawn on b2? Now comes... Another wow move. The move is rook to h5. Amazing, isn't it? Black to move. e5 in order to activate his light square bishop. Let's take it back. If pawn takes rook, then queen to g3 check. After bishop to g7, queen takes bishop check mate. Back to our game. Like I said, e5 in order to activate his light square bishop, d takes on e5, bishop to e6, queen to f4, queen takes pawn on b2, attacking the bishop, bishop to f1, bishop to e7, queen to h4, black to move, bishop to c5, let's take it back. If bishop takes on f6, one line goes like this. Pawn takes bishop. White is threatening to take the pawn on h7. If pawn takes rook, then queen to g5 check. And after king to f8, queen to g7 check mate. Back to our game. So in this position we have bishop to c5. Threatening to take on f2. In some variations, rook to h6, ready for 
bishop or queen takes on f2, a5, on the way to a1, maybe, rook to d3, intending rook to f3 in some variations, bishop takes on f2, check, queen takes bishop, queen takes queen, king takes queen, a4, this looks scary, doesn't it? Why to move? How would you stop the pawn? Instead of stopping the pawn, Max Elwe kept his eyes on the black king. He wanted to play rook to h3, but doing that immediately is not a good idea. That is why he played bishop to e2, intending g4. Rook to a5. G4. Rook takes on e5. Bishop takes on e5. Bishop to c4. Rook from d to h3. Bishop takes bishop. And now instead of king takes bishop on e2. Bishop to f6. Rook to e6. e5. Bishop takes on g4. Attacking the rook. Rook takes pawn on h7, threatening checkmate, rook takes bishop, pawn takes rook, and in this position Floor resigned, not believing in his queenside pawns. For the entertainment purpose I will show you just one line. Bishop takes on h3, rook takes on h3, b5, and now the white king must get in front of the pawns. One line goes like this, king to e2, c5, king to d2, b4, king to c2, a3, king to b1, c4, king to a2, g5, preventing rook to h4, but then rook to h5, c3, king to b3. That was the idea. If c2, king takes on c2, after a2, king to b2 b3, rook takes on g5, check, king to h7, rook to g7, check, king to f6, rook takes on f7, king to g6, rook to a7, king takes on f6, king takes on b3, and I guess we can stop here. What an amazing game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.